Hello class, today we'll be discussing mergers and acquisitions and specifically an international acquisition that happened here in the state of Alabama in 2014. Protective Life Corporation is a life insurance company headquartered in Birmingham, Alabama, founded in 1907 with current revenues of $3.7 billion and over 2,500 employees. Daiichi Life Insurance Company Limited is the second largest life insurer in Japan and founded in 1902. It is also one of Japan's oldest life insurers. Daiichi currently boasts over 67,000 employees with 1,345 offices in over 10 countries. With the aging Japanese population, Daiichi began to look internationally for prospects to grow its business, deciding to purchase Protective Life Corporation for $5.7 billion is the largest acquisition by a Japanese Japanese insurer. Daiichi Life announced it will issue up to 2.4 billion US dollars in new shares to finance the acquisition of Protected Life and also agreed to pay $70 per share of common stock to purchase 100% of the company. This acquisition can be seen as friendly as all existing management stayed in place and Daiichi is allowing Protective to operate as fully owned subsidiary. Without interfering too much, existing executives in Protective Life still can handle day-to-day -day operation, operations generally the same. Chairman and CEO John D. Johns has said they were excited to partner with Daiichi and realized they could develop a mutually beneficial relationship. John, uh, John stated that from the beginning he saw an alignment in mission and values for each corporation. While protective life operations at a respectable level operates at a respectable level, both have something to gain from the acquisition. Daiichi is the 13th largest insurer in the world. By partnering with American companies, Daiichi has the opportunity to crack the global top 10. With 47 successful acquisitions in the past 30 years, protective life knows a thing or two about the mer mergers and acquisitions game. Cracking the global top 10 is something John says the top level management is confident they can assist greatly in helping achieve. And by partnering with Daiichi, Protective Life joins a much larger company with over $330 billion in assets, which can allow Protective to grow substantially, effectively creating a win win scenario for both parties. Not only do both companies win, the local community and state of Alabama win as well. Providing back to the community has always been a priority. With expansion you see an increase in jobs and economic growth. In this type of acquisition, a lot of the money stays in the community instead of overseas. But just like any multinational corporations, there are always problems to face. Culture, economic and social issues. Basically, every aspect of pastel must be reassessed based on the market you are entering. By definition, pastel can create both opportunities and threats. And in international acquisitions, you have to be significantly more careful. Since this deal has been done for about two years, we can already see the short-term effects. With increasing revenues each year and a strong future outlook, so far we can count this as an effective acquisition. Furthering both corporations' goals is one and expanding their market share. Thank you for watching.